From the beginning of time, human beings have created objects that enable them to connect with mountains, seas, and rivers. They learn from the past and build in the present, all to create a better future. While objects have their limitations, human aspiration does not. In October, the weather in the Bayan Bulak grassland starts to cool. Before the snow covers the mountain, Kazakh herdsman Murat must complete the most difficult job of the year. He has to cross the Tian Shan Mountains to bring his herds to the winter pasture. Bayan Bulak is home to the Tung Tian River mentioned in the Chinese classic Journey to the West. The roads here are surrounded by snow-capped mountains. Every time he passes here, Murat gets nervous. Tiger Mouth Pass on National Highway 216 stands at an altitude of 4,280 meters. Hundreds of vehicles have crashed here. The Tian Shan Mountains, also known as the Mountains of Heaven, stretch across the middle of Xinjiang. They were once the axis of the regions to the west of China and a juncture along the Silk Road. Inside the snow-capped mountain ranges is a tunnel where hard rocks are being cut by large cutter heads. About 1,000 meters below Tiger Mouth, the Tian Shan Shangli Tunnel is being built. When completed, this tunnel will reach a length of 22 kilometers, becoming one of the longest expressway tunnels in the world. At 3,200 meters above sea level, the temperature at the construction site is minus 20 degrees Celsius. The F6 fault is 1,900 meters into the tunnel from the northern entrance. It is the biggest obstacle to the construction of the tunnel. The maximum depth of the tunnel is 1,112 meters, where there is high crustal stress, high seismic intensity, and strict requirements for environmental protection. 
Builders use the pioneering construction method of injection moulding applied with a new type of tunnel boring machine. This allows them to excavate through complex geological layers ten times faster than with the conventional drill and blast method. 22 kilometres away at the southern exit of the Tian Shan Shengli Tunnel, tests are being carried out on new equipment. The TBM Shangli was built specifically for the conditions in the Tian Shan Mountains. It is the first new type hard rock boring machine developed with innovative injection moulding technologies. Its disc cutter is 8.43 metres in diameter, nearly as high as a three-storey building. In good geological conditions, the TBM adopts the open type boring mode. When it encounters faults or fractures or other unfavourable formations, it shifts to the concrete injection moulding method. The erector will quickly assemble steel formwork, then inject concrete between the formwork and wall rock to produce smooth tunnel walls. In this experimental excavation, shifting between open type boring and injection molding is proving difficult. At the northern entrance of the Tian Shan Shengli Tunnel, the Tian Shan Shield TBM has been assembled and is ready to work. This sister machine of the Shengli will accumulate construction experience in cold, high altitude and complex geological conditions for future tunnel construction in special strata. These mountains that connect east and west once served as a pass on the transport route for Chinese porcelain and silk. Its legends live on in people's hearts. Right now, it's the scene of a battle between fire and snow. With boring about to begin at the northern entrance of the tunnel, the project manager decides to cross Tiger Mouth and check the equipment at the southern exit. Now, 
一号冰川保护区，生态敏感区，乌鲁木齐河的源头。用这种设备呢，不对环境造成污染，又快啊，又安全。这如果说搁在以前，这种功能是实现不了，是不敢想。The 22km tunnel is being built as part of the Urumqi Yuli Highway. After it opens to traffic, it will connect Urumqi in the north and Kola in the south, cutting travel time from seven hours to three hours. Every inch of progress is a tribute to the past. If <laughs> 那你就在中间等我啊，咱俩看看到时候一块儿到那儿啊，一块儿到，懂吗？嗯嗯。对对对对对对对，马上下去就不进啊，好吧？之前就是一直在等这个决定嘛，很突然。At the northern entrance, the Tianshan TBM advances into the tunnel. 准备推进了。In a week, the 2,000-ton, 282-meter-long Shengli TBM will arrive at its work site and start boring from the south side. In three years' time, the two TBMs will join forces in the tunnel, and three years after that, complete the task together. From then on, the Tian Shan Mountains, which stretch more than 2,500 kilometers from east to west, will have a 22-kilometer north-south tunnel running through them. East of the Tian Shan Mountains, roads extend to the sea. The eastern edge of the country has more than 18,000 kilometers of coastline. This is Shanghai the world's busiest container port. Shanghai is an important part of China's economic integration with the rest of the world, thanks in large part to a world-level project. Man-made projects also appear on the surging river and sea. The Yangtze River flows into the vast East China Sea carrying snow water from the Tibetan Plateau and sediments along the way. The 90-kilometer-wide estuary of the Yangtze River gives rise to a magnificent geographical landscape. But what's hidden beneath? Every year, 480 million tons of sediment flowing down from the upper reaches silts up at the mouth of the Yangtze River, creating about 60 kilometers of muddy shoals that block the waterway. China has been dredging the Yangtze River estuary every year since 1978. But due to limited financial resources and technology, the water depths can only be kept at 7 metres. In 2010, the 12.5 metre deep water channel of the Yangtze River was completed, allowing ships of over 50,000 tonnes to reach the sea. 
长江口黄金水道是什么呢？它其实就是一个高速公路，而它就是负责这个高速公路畅通的一个保障。The Xinhai Feng is the flagship suction dredger of the Shanghai Waterway Bureau. It's played an important part in the construction of the deep water channel. It has two giant arrows with a maximum dredging depth of 45 meters. An advanced automatic control system allows it to carry out precise dredging underwater. It can hold an amount of dredged sediment equivalent to the volume of nine Olympic-sized swimming pools combined. 这个地段相对来说是湿地嘛，第一条河穿到的，正好迎合这个海风第二条。为什么会有这么多挖掘船？就是因为蓝门沙，蓝门沙这个地方就是我们回忆量最大的一个地方。At the wide mouth of the Yangtze River, water slows down, and fine gravel and sand in the river settle when they meet seawater to form mouth bars. This makes removing the bars at the Yangtze River estuary one of the largest and most complex estuary remediation projects in the world. Every inch of deep water matters. To ensure there is a 12.5 meter depth of navigable water, personnel and equipment work around the clock. To date, 320 million cubic meters of sediment have been dredged from the estuary. If they were lined up as one cubic meter mounds, they would go around the globe eight times. Thirty-one nautical miles north of the Yangtze estuary, builders are in a race against time. Between high and low tide, the offshore replacement of large pipelines has to be completed quickly. There is no room for any error. How efficiently the work is done will determine the operation of another legendary dredger. Upgrading continues for the Lian Yungang port. This is the starting point of the Eurasian land bridge and part of the fast growing cluster of superports in the Yangtze River Delta. The extension project of the 100,000 ton navigation channel in the Lian Yungang port basin is being carried out by the Tian Kuen, Asia's largest self navigation counter suction dredger. China owns complete independent intellectual property rights to this dredger from design to construction, a first for the country. It has the strongest dredging system in Asia and the world's biggest long-range dredge sediment conveyance capacity. With 6,600 kilowatt Rima power, it can dredge 6,000 cubic meters of sediment per hour and convey it 15 kilometers away. This amount would fill up Beijing's Water Cube National Aquatic Center in a week. Tian Kun was officially put into operation in March 2019, making its debut outside China in countries along the Belt and Road route, sucking up rocks with a hardness of up to 70 MPA.
the Liangyun Gun Project is Tianquan's first project in China. The dredged clay is piped seven kilometers away, demonstrating Tianquan's powerful dredging and transportation capabilities. After the project is completed, the Tian Kuen will appear at the China Marine Economic Expo in Shenzhen and tell its story to the world. <laughs> the team responsible for the port construction of Lian Yuengang is from CCCC Tianjin Dredging Company. Its predecessor is the Hai He Engineering Bureau, founded in Tianjin in 1897. It was the pioneer of mechanical dredging in China. A century later, the team and their creation lead the world in this field. China's dredging technology dates back 4,000 years when Yu the Great famously tamed the floods. This tale and the nation's dredging traditions have been passed on to this day. Chengdu has been known as southwestern China's flower town since ancient times. Today, it's witnessing an economic boom and is accelerating efforts to build an economic center in western China. A city landmark can attract attention and pull strength. Tu Fu's poem represents a zenith of ancient Chinese civilization, but the summit of this civilization continues to rise. The 468-meter high tower will surpass the height of the TV tower, which is currently the tallest building in Chengdu at 339 meters. The huge installation on the top represents the growth point of the building and the fact that Chengdu will be home to the tallest building in western China. The five-story giant is the latest generation of mid-air building machines and it's capable of completing a story in just three days. As China's first intelligent construction equipment integration platform, it provides everything needed for super high-rise construction. The platform weighs nearly 1,000 tons. With tower cranes and building materials, the total weight of the machine is nearly 1,500 tons, equivalent to the weight of 1,000 cars. This is the largest and busiest construction site on Earth. After decades of experience, a piece of super equipment full of Chinese wisdom has been created.
，有放的还是放的时间久了，有的漏浆那种现象，大家还是看着清理干净没有，好吧？好，开始。Today, builders will complete the 68th jacking operation. They will operate the 1,500-ton jumbo platform for seven hours to complete a 4.4-meter climb from 300 meters above ground. For jacking operations, Chinese engineers came up with the innovative method of using three centimeter bumps on the building's concrete surface to hold the heavy construction machine. We can imagine we put a piece of paper on top of something, and it can produce a large piece of paper. This is a huge piece of paper. A piece of paper is a piece of paper. A piece of paper is a piece of paper. It can produce a piece of paper. The hydraulic cylinder provides power for jacking. The construction machine climbs floor by floor like a monkey along the bumpy building wall. The lights from the buildings are like stars twinkling from Earth. 大学在重庆这边念，还是想能够在重庆生活下来，有一个自己的房子。Urbanization is drawing more and more people to cities. Young people can now settle down in cities built by their parents. Chongqing is a mountainous city to the east of Chengdu, whose irregular landscape brings out the best in Chinese builders. The R&D results of skyscraper construction machines have also been applied to the construction of residential buildings. A large number of construction workers have benefited from the human-centric design of these machines. Shawi 那真的也是骄傲的。成都向东，重庆向西，这边呢就是东的一个制高点。The jacking operations for the Greenland project are ongoing. 通过我们一些的工业化的、智能化的升级和改造，从原来比较原始的、比较粗放的以劳动力行业和制造业能够相提并论。Chengdu is a mega city with a population of 20 million permanent residents. Its development has long been restricted due to the city being sandwiched between two mountains. Only by expanding east to join with Chongqing can Chengdu overcome these restrictions. This is the city where Chinese poet Du Fu wrote, How I wish I could have 10,000 houses to provide shelter for all who need it. Today, his wish has finally come true.
，用你这么一句话说吧，如果那个风门破掉，水从风门进入那个管内，我肯定出不来，几秒钟时间就没有了。那我就听到林总说，他说尽力，啊，你再坚持一下，等你出来以后，师傅请你喝酒，给你押金。这句话我记得能记一辈子，这句话能记一辈子。After conquering land, man began building underwater tunnels using the immersed tube method. This has a history of more than 100 years after the United States built the world's first underwater tunnel for transportation in 1910 under the Detroit River. The history of China's immersed tube tunnel project began in 1988. In two days, the sixth tube section of the underwater tunnel of the Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge will be connected. Engineers are on their way to the staging ground. The underwater tunnel of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is made up of 33 immersed tubes and has been crowned the seventh wonder of the world. Ning Jin Jin spent nine years on the construction of the bridge's underwater tunnel. He's a student of Lin Ming chief engineer for the island and tunnel project of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. Next, Ning Jin Jin will spend six years on another underwater tunnel nearby. The Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge lies in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay area, one of the most developed regions in China. It's another world-class project that combines bridges, islands, and tunnels. 24 kilometers in length, it includes a two-way eight-lane tunnel. Once completed, it will cut travel time from Shenzhen to Zhongshan to 30 minutes. It will also bring the two regions closer, spur their economic growth, and continue to boost development in the entire southern coast. The 33 immersed tubes of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge were prefabricated at a factory on Niaotou Island, about 28 kilometers away from Zhuhai's main urban area. The immersed tubes of the Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge are the world's first extra long steel shell tubes. A single tube section is 9 meters wider than that of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge and weighs about 80,000 tons. Underwater connection requires extreme precision. In the excavated underwater foundation trenches, immersed tubes are connected into a tunnel. Both ends of this tunnel are connected to land transportation. Underwater connection is widely considered a formidable engineering challenge. At the immersed tube connection area of the western artificial island 50 kilometers away, preparations for the connection and installation of the sixth tube section are underway. China's self-developed Yihang Jinping II is the world's largest 
and most advanced self-elevating gravel leveling barge. It has an accuracy of 40 millimeters. It can lay the foundation for a single tube section in three days. The first one is Yi Hang Jin An Wan, which connects with the sixth tube section on Myoto Island. For the Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge project, Chinese engineers spent three years building Yi Hang Jin An Wan, the world's first transport installation ship for immersed tubes. It ushered in the intelligent era in China's immersed tube tunnel construction. At 2 a.m. on December the 8th, 2020, undocking of the sixth tube section begins. The Yi Hang Jin An 1 combines floating, positioning, sinking, and installation of immersed tubes and has towing power provided by thrusters. Over the next 38 hours, it will carry and float the sixth tube section for nearly 50 kilometers and change routes seven times before completing connection accurate to within five centimeters. It is a truly massive undertaking. Yi 中国人有这种自信 Over the course of nine years, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge Project resulted in thousands of meetings on technological development, 500 patents for inventions, and several world records. The advanced technologies used and the rich experience gained have benefited the Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge Project. E Hang Jinan One features automatic cruise, deviation correction, and an immersed tube sinking control system. It can tow an immersed tube weighing 80,000 tons and has a speed of close to six knots. Every move of the vessel and the immersed tube is closely monitored.
。我们现在算出来应该偏南了三公分四，也是偏南吗？现在尾端比首端还要偏两。首端偏北三公分，尾端是偏北一公分。The immersed tube was slowly floated into position, sunk, transported, connected and monitored in real time by the Beidou positioning system with precision to the millimeter. At 3 a.m. on December the 9th, 2020, the sixth tube section was successfully installed and connected to an accuracy of within five centimeters as required by the design. <laughs> This day marks an historic moment unprecedented in China's history of construction. This day saw the installation of the first tube section of the Dalian Bay undersea tunnel the first cross-sea immersed tube tunnel in northern China. It was also the first immersed tube tunnel construction ever to take place in China's cold areas. On the same day, the E6 tube section of the Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge was installed. The tunnel now extends for 948.5 meters. These achievements testify to the dedication of Chinese builders.